But first, we're going to talk about global air travel in the time of coronavirus. The industry has been devastated by the pandemic and the restrictions that it's entailed. Thousands of jobs have already been lost or hang in the balance. Airlines are hemorrhaging cash and some clearly may not survive. Well, a new phone app's been developed, which it's hoped will help airlines and airports negotiate these restrictions and allow people who've tested negative for COVID-19 to travel. It's called Common Pass. Its CEO is Paul Mayer. And on the line from New York, he told me more. Common Pass lets people get tested for COVID before they travel, upload their results to their phone and then use those results to demonstrate that they've satisfied whatever requirements from a health screening perspective of the country they want to travel to. And these are tests that are done at, at what, local laboratories that can then certify that person within the app? That's right. Right now, people are showing up at the airport or at borders with printed pieces of paper, and the airlines and border authorities have no way of knowing whether those pieces of paper are in fact valid. So this creates more trust around that process. And how is the data checked when you go through security gates, go through border control? How will that work? Travelers are showing a QR code on their phone that is visually inspected or can be scanned. And how are you going to ensure that it does become the common standard, that it's rolled out everywhere? Because, I mean, I guess for it to work, it just needs to be the one thing that people use, right? First, by ensuring that it's open and that it can plug into other existing systems. But we are, thanks to our collaboration with the World Economic Forum, working with many countries, most of the world's largest airlines. And how do you stop it being used fraudulently, people, you know, managing to hack into it and, and, and put in fake results? I mean, is it, is it going to be secure, I suppose, is what I'm asking? It's basically designed so that only certified labs can actually have their data flow into the system. And we're partnering with governments in each country to create the lists of the certified or accredited labs in their countries. And if there is to be a vaccine at some point in the next few months, could that become part of the system as well? Again, a bit like those sort of, you know, bits of paper that you used to carry around to show that you'd had a yellow fever vaccination or, or something. That's a great way to think about this. This is effectively a digital yellow card. But I think that there's a difference because there are many different vaccine candidates that are being developed and there will be different kinds of vaccines. We're not going to know how long they're effective for. So unlike the yellow fever vaccine, which was get it once, 99% effective and you're done. So therefore you can just show that piece of paper. COVID vaccines are going to be dynamic. And so having a digital platform like Common Pass that can ingest data from records of those different vaccines are going to be important to be able to document as people get in airplanes or cross borders. Uh, that was Paul Mayer, uh, co-founder and CEO of the Commons Project, the uh, non-profit trust that's developing uh, that app.